Hey, I'm Dave Hillowitz. So today we're gonna do something we haven't done in a while, which is a contact tutorial. Um, yeah, I have been living in London for the past four months uh, and didn't really have a good setup for doing these kinds of tutorials, but now I'm back in Philly and uh, yeah, ready to get started. So something a bunch of people have asked me about recently uh, is how to set up multiple mics in contact. And often you're in a situation where you have many groups all of which uh, are for one specific microphone. For example, um, you have separated maybe um, different velocity ranges into separate groups, or if you have round robins or any number of reasons, you might find yourself with a bunch of different groups, all of which need to be controlled by one knob. And the way you do this, uh, if you don't wanna have to automate like dozens of groups at the same time, is you create an instrument bus. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. So we're gonna start this at this point where we have um, basically our wave files, we've done all the chopping, uh, we're ready to import these into contact. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new instrument. We're gonna go into the group editor and I'm just gonna go into the mapping editor and drag all of these into a single group. These have all been named. So hopefully we can just do some clever auto mapping and it will create all of our groups for us just like that. Right click, auto map setup, and set to single key. And we're gonna make the final thing the group name, apply. And because of a bug in contact, you have to do this multiple times. But now I think we've finally got it. Now I'm gonna set selected groups only, and we're just gonna look at each one, see what we ended up with. No, still got some to go. There we go. So we can get rid of group one because now it's empty. And we can look at all of our samples that are nicely laid out. One thing about these, of course, is their root notes have not been set. They've been positioned correctly on the keyboard, but the root notes are not correct. So what we do is we select all of them. Actually, a safer way is to just do select all zones right click and do batch tools, move root key to center. That sets the root key to the center of the range. And each of these has a range that's only one note wide. So perfect. Now we click this button and it maps them across the entire range. We probably don't actually want the entire range. Deselect all zones. And now we have to, probably a good way of doing this is to go into list view and just grab these, the lower ones and move the bottom of the key range up to, let's say C3, let's hear what that sounds like. Still pretty good sounding. Okay, and we're gonna drag this one down to whatever the, the C above. Okay, so we've got our samples and they're basically set up. We haven't set any loop points, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it doesn't really matter. Okay, go back into regular mapping mode. Okay, we're almost ready to get started with scripting. Uh, all we need to do now, I can close the mapping editor. So what we need to do now is we need to create some instrument buses. So we're gonna open this panel and we're gonna make an instrument bus for each of these microphones. So we're gonna call this one piezo. We're gonna switch over to instrument bus two and we're gonna call this condenser. And now I'm gonna go to the pickup group and I'm going to here where it says output. If it's just on default, it just goes out through the main stereo bus. But if I click here, now I can see those two buses that I created. You don't actually have to name them. I just like naming them because it's good to stay organized. I'm gonna click here to piezo. Now, unfortunately I'm editing all groups. So now I have to go over here and switch this one to condenser. And I have to say that spelling of condenser doesn't quite look right. I think it's ER. So now if I play chord, you can see that both of these buses have audio coming through them. And if I were to turn down the volume of this one, we're now just getting the pickup, the piezo pickup. And if I go over here and I turn that down and I turn up the condenser mic. So already we're able to control the mics, um, the mic volumes just by using these instrument buses. And you can assign any number of groups. So this is maybe not the best sample set to actually do this demonstration because I actually only have one group per microphone. But if you had like 15 groups or something, all of which were for that piezo pickup, you could assign them all to that bus and then just control the volume of that piezo bus. So yeah, it's really powerful. Okay, so now let's look at how you make a knob that controls that volume. Hit script, open it up. Just as with anything we do on init, go 
that are on init block and make perf view and I don't know what do we say four something I'm gonna call this main I don't know why I always name them but I do We're going to set up our knobs and it's pretty much like any other contact knob uh, with a declare statement and uh, positioning and all that usual stuff. Set the name of the knob. All right, we can hit apply and it shows up. Maybe I'll just say cond period. Okay, nice. Set the knob units to DB. Always good. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. And finally, make persistent. And now we're going to do the same thing for the, the piezo. this one pick up and obviously it's going to be mic 2 this part is easy let's move it over a little okay so we've got our knobs now all we need to do is make handlers for those knobs so I'm going to do standard on UI control this is the code that's going to be run every single time we touch that knob and obviously in a second, I'm gonna do one for mic two as well, uh, but let's start with mic one. Okay, so we're ready to actually control that parameter, that um, instrument bus parameter. And we're gonna do that using set engine par, just like we would any other control within contact. Uh, let us look at the manual. There we go. Okay, so we've got, we can copy our signature exactly, and we're gonna refer back to that in a second. Set engine par. First thing is the parameter and it's a volume parameter. So engine parameter volume and the value is going to be coming from like one knob. And next we have to figure out, you know, and this is why I pulled up the instructions, how to fill those group slot and generic values. This is an instrument bus, so it doesn't have a group. So for group, it says if the specified parameter resides on an instrument level, um, as in it's above the groups, um, then negative one, the buses certainly do. And, and it even says buses also reside on an instrument level, so you need to set a group to negative one. So that's easy enough. Group negative one. What does it say about slot? So for group instrument effects, this parameter specifies a slot. It's not an effect, it's a bus. Uh, for everything else, it's negative one. Okay, so negative one again. So if we're gonna be specifying our bus, it's gotta be happening within generic. Uh, this parameter applies to instrument effects and to internal modulators. For buses, okay, that's us. Um, this parameter specifies to actual bus ni bus offset plus and then a number zero through 15. So I'm gonna copy that over. And the bus that we're trying to address first, uh, this is the condenser mic, I think, is actually this one. So these numbers are zero based, meaning the counting starts at zero. So the first one, even though it's labeled as one, is actually zero. The second one is actually one. The third one is actually two. Uh, so condenser, which is number two, is actually one. So we're gonna go back up here. And we're gonna do one. Now we're gonna hit apply. And now I'm gonna play with this knob and I'm gonna see if the knob down here moved. It did, look, 14.2. And we're gonna to go to zero and great. Okay, so it's working. Uh, now all we need to do is update that value because it's kind of giving us some garbage number up here. So we need to update that label. So we're going to do set knob label. And if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you've probably seen me do this a million times. And this has the exact same parameters that set engine par does, except for the first one. So I think that's it. Looks right. Perfect. And just like that, we have mic level knobs. Uh, okay, need to do the second one. And the second one's exactly the same as the first one, except that it references a different variable and a different bus. So instead of doing plus one, we're doing plus zero because we want to 
grab the volume of that first instrument bus, piezo. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay, let's back out of script. Okay, let's play with these knobs. That's just the pickup. That's just the condenser. And that's both. So yeah, pretty good. And just like that, we have uh, mic level knobs. So yeah, that's it. Um, the TLDR version is if you wanna do mic level knobs, use instrument buses. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you've been enjoying these, uh, remember to hit like, and if you've not already, I highly recommend subscribing. Uh, a lot more tutorials and also free samples coming. Um, yeah, see you next time.